bonjour if you have stuff that you need to carry around a solution to that is a bag otherwise you're going to be walking along with your arms outstretched with stuff balancing on them that's just not that uh, practical and effective a method to transport your items is it So a bag is a solution. I think a really good option as a chap about town or a chap out in the woods for a small kind of day bag are the Mark VI and Mark VII World War II vintage gas mask bags. Also the bags used by Indiana Jones in all the movies, which I think is a really cool connection. I've got a couple of genuine vintage World War II issued bags. These are now, these are um, this one and this one. These are Mark VI bags produced, I think, from 1939 to 1941. And then from 1942 onwards, the Mark VII bags were produced. It's actually the Mark VII's that mostly feature in the Indiana Jones films. But from a practical standpoint, I've actually preferred to use the Mark VI's because they have this other external flap on the back, which is just a, a useful pocket for storing stuff separate from the front pocket. You can just about squeeze an iPad into there. So from a practical point of view, I always prefer to use the Mark VI bags. These were issued to British soldiers in World War II for carrying the gas mask and all its associated bits and bobs in. This bag, M&S Limited, Mark VI, 1941, and this bag, W&G, and just about see 1941. So these bags are now 83 years old. I've had both of these bags myself for about 20 years. Um, they've both been heavily used, but these are becoming a little bit too old and too precious to me personally to keep chucking them about and using them as a rough and tumble little day bag. I love these. The history, the links to Indiana Jones. Genuine British Army bags of war from World War II. Love them, absolutely love them. I estimate they're about seven liters or so, so great for a, a little day bag for a walk in the woods or something, or you know, to pop your lunch in and bits and bobs to take to work or whatever. But yeah, I, I wanted to kind of stop using these because they're really hard to get hold of now. They're really precious to me. So I wanted to retire them if I could, maybe pass them down to my kids when they're older, if they're interested. So there are quite a few makers, um, costumiers and things that make reproduction Indiana Jones bags basically. And I've been looking at a couple of the available options so I can retire my genuine 83 year old bags, uh, but still have something with the Indiana Jones connection, something that looks rugged and is a nice smallish but capable bag for, for day use. I've used my uh, other bags for overnight trips and everything. You can fit a pair of pants, socks and a top and a towel in your wash bag in one of these quite easily for overnight trips. So I've bought a couple and I just want to share my thoughts on them. Let's have a look at this guy first. This one I bought from Silverman's website in the UK. It's a decent little bag, very nice. They've even included the, the little bit of string that was used to, to wrap it around your, your body, wrap, tie this around your waist so that the bag didn't flap about too much when you were running away from gas attacks and things. Uh, so that's a nice touch. This one is more based on the Mark VI in that it's also got an external flap. On my vintage Mark VI's, I removed the stitching down the center to make one large pocket. This one comes with two separate back pockets, useful for storing bits in. You know, I don't know, a small umbrella, a notebook, your phone, whatever, can be stored in there. Handy. I'm not sure if these bits, the brass bits, are genuine brass or not. I suspect not. All the stuff on the original is actual brass. I think these poppers are brass. I don't know. Sturdy poppers. No work printing or anything on there. Inside the bag, you just have one large main compartment. They have actually even sewn this little strap in here at the bottom, which is on the originals. And then there's another smaller, slimmer pocket at the front. So you get a nice, basic shaped bag made of really nice, durable, thick canvas. Poppers are good. Brass eyelets on the bottom there, or brass effect alloy eyelets, I don't know. Yeah, there's drainage holes. This is a good solid bag, really like it. It came with a just canvas webbing strap, which does come on removable clips, so that's good. I just took that off and put this leather strap on 
to make it more Indiana Jonesy. But yeah, that's a nice bag. I think about 20 quid from Silverman's. Good, solid. Just compare the layout of that one to the layout inside the original Mark VI bags I've got. You've got a divider down there, one slightly smaller compartment that side, one slightly larger compartment that side, and the flap at the front there. And like I say, the external pocket or pockets on the back. Never felt the need to remove this myself. I have a water bottle or something that side, and having that divider helps keep things like a jacket or whatever pressed into there, so that's fine. So that's the original layout. The Silverman's one removes the internal divider and just leaves you with one large pocket and the other flat pocket at the front, slim pocket at the front. The only thing that I'm not mad keen on on the Silverman's one is the difference in the canvas. No idea how well this is going to show up on this video, but the original Gas Masks bag canvas is a, a totally different sort of knit, uh, a different type of canvas fabric. These have proved strong and durable. 83 year old bag I've used mine for 20 years or so this has held up really well it's a real nice tight knit the canvas on the Silverman's bag does not look the same it's a slightly different color this is more of an olive -y drab or it was it's a bit bleached by the sun this is more of a khaki and the fabric is quite different it looks quite different in the flesh not from a distance and not to those that don't know any different I guess but yeah the canvas is quite different on this one to how it is on the originals however I also got one of these repros from believe it or not of all places Disney these were produced by Disney I think to mark the re release of Dial of Destiny this is modeled on the Mark 7 they've even included the metal doobery to wrap your string round to secure it to your body on that side there's just a little fabric loop eyelet drainage holes there again I suspect these things are not real brass they won't be surely some kind of alloy it looks like brass that's fine the buttons are good I really like this Disney bag the canvas the fabric is really similar to the original fabric a much tighter smoother knit of canvas this feels and looks great it looks really true to the originals I mean this bag's 83 years old it's weathered it's worn it's creased this one is brand new from Disney of all people again these come with a, uh, a PU leather strap which is not great you could get away with it and use it apart from the fact that it's extremely short here it is I cut that off pretty much straight away I mean that's not leather is it that's not gonna fool many people I don't think but it was okay or it would have been okay had it been long enough it just sits you know above my waist far 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 too short so I snicked that one off and swapped it for, for my old 20 odd year old leather strap there which makes the bag look much better I might rob the buckle off there a little roller buckles that's okay nothing on the back so much more closely modeled on the actual mark 7 the bags that Indiana Jones used in all the movies this is really good the Silverman's and the Disney are both really solid options ideal as a little bimbling day bag great stuff I'm just gonna show typically the sort of thing I might carry in it and you can have a look at the internal layout as well so in one of these bags I might carry some snacks a water bottle a pen my wallet some more snacks glucose tablets a little kind of emergency stash of various useful bits and bobs in there got a down gilet it's just scrunched up really small slides in there no problem I've got a small but excellent umbrella in there Fulton Aerolite tiny super light but just keeps rain and sun off you little notepad I've got a pack of, pack of cards in there always have a pack of cards with you I say then I've got a hat also got a pair of leather gloves in there and a little couple of meters of paracord that's it all that swag fits really easily in there really nice compact little bag enough to keep you going
through a day's walking or whatever. Obviously that would be the same for any of these bags. You can fit a good amount of gear in them. The internal layout of the Disney bag is slightly different. You just got one big main compartment and you get this kind of hanging down flapping bit which fits a smartphone perfectly. And then at the back of the bag you get a pocket that side which goes down to sort of halfway. And then a larger, longer pocket that side which goes pretty much all the way to the bottom of the bag. Oh, the other thing. You also get a print of the Staff of Ra on the Disney bag. Uh, I quite like that. <laughs> it's an Indiana Jones marketed bag. That's nice. Quite unobtrusive. You're not going to see it when the flap's shut. But yeah, nice touch. But yeah, I was really shocked and surprised at how decent this bag is. The canvas feels quite stiff. It's brand new. But thick enough, I think that's going to be fairly sturdy. Yeah, excellent stuff. So yeah, if you've got stuff to transport from one place to another, you need a bag. And I think if you can get one of the originals, yeah, get one. They've shot up in price um, in recent years. They're becoming incredibly scarce and hard to find, especially ones that are in good condition. The, uh, the webbing tends to go on the old ones. There you go, that webbing's all torn and tired on that one. So yeah, as an alternative, there are some, I mean, there are other people that make them. Westhead Leather make one. A few other Mongoli clothiers, is it? I maybe said that wrong, but you know what I mean. So yeah, by all means, get an original one if you can find one. But if you don't want to spend that much, there are some very good, in my opinion, repros out there. Uh, rugged looking and a genuinely rugged little bag for carrying your day-to-day -day belongings in. Get one, I say. Thanks for having a look. Uh, be lucky. Bye.